Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. Today our topic is importance of the study of economics. The importance and utility of the subject of economics can be judged from this fact that it is now considered to be one of the most important and useful subject as compared to any other branch of knowledge. The reasons for gaining its importance are that it makes human welfare its direct and primary concern. It helps in raising the quality of economic life as it greatly helps in solution of economic and social problems. So it exercises an overwhelming influence on the minds of the people. The advantages of the study of economics are as under point A, intellectual value. The knowledge of economics is very useful as it broadens our outlook, sharpens our intelligence and inculcates in us the habit of balanced thinking. The study of economics makes us realize that we as human beings are dependent upon one another for our daily needs. This feeling creates in us the intelligent appreciation of our position and the spirit of cooperation with others point b practical advantages the practical advantages of economics are much more important than its theoretical advantages these advantages can be looked at from the individual and community point of view point number one professional and personal application from personal point of view, the study of economics is useful as it enables each of us to understand better and appreciate more intelligently the nature and the significance of our money earning and money spending activities. With the knowledge of economics, the consumer can better judge his expenditure to his income. The study of economics is also useful to a producer. It suggests him the ways of bringing about most economical combination of the various factors of production at his disposal. From the study of economics, one can easily judge as to why the prices have risen or fallen. The knowledge of economics also explains us as to how the reward of various factors of production is determined Thus, we find that every individual can rightly hope to become a better and more efficient consumer, producer and businessman if he has the working knowledge of economics. Point number two, economics for the political leader. The study of economics is not only helpful from the individual point of view, but it is also very useful for the welfare of the community. It enables a political leader to understand and better grasp the economic and social problems facing country. Every government has to tackle different kinds of economic problems such as unemployment, inflation, overproduction, underproduction, imposition of tariff and control problems of monopolies, etc. The politicians can successfully solve these problems if he has through knowledge of the subject of economics. The knowledge of economics for finance minister is also indispensable. He has to raise revenue by imposing taxes on the income of the people. For meeting the necessary expenditure of the government, economics here comes to his rescue and guide him as how the taxes could be levied and collected. Point number three is poverty and development. The greatest advantage of economics is that it helps in removing traces of poverty from the country. Take the case of Pakistan. We in Pakistan are confronted with different kinds of problems. For example, low per capita income, low productivity of agriculture, slow development of industries, fast increase in population, underdeveloped means of communication and transport, etc. The study of economics helps in devising 
ways and means and suggesting practical measures in solving these problems point number 4 is economics for the citizen such being the importance of the study of economics it is rightly remarked by wooten that you cannot be a real sense a citizen unless you are also in some degree an economist he is perfectly right in giving the statement the world is so fast changing that we are completely now living in a world dominated by economic forces and economic ideas if the people of any country do not have working knowledge of an economic system then the government of that country can easily deceive its citizen but if the citizens have knowledge of economics then the government will be very vigilant and spend the money in the wise manner point number 5 is economics for the best interest of society it may here be remembered that economics no doubt help you as a voting citizen as well as benefit you professionally and personally but that is not primary objective of economics in economics the problems are examined from the social point of view rather than the personal point of view in economics production exchange of goods and their consumption are analyzed from the view point of society's best interest as a whole not from the view point of an individual managing his personal investment decisions or protection from the effects of inflation etc it is enough for today allah hafiz